Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you how to find a Mirage Island and how to do it the most efficient way possible. Do you want to do this? Yes, this. <gasps> I found it. Yes. Woo! Or this. Oh, there's the dealer as well. All right. Let's see what's on stock. If so, then you've come to the right video. If so, then you've come to the right video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And also when I get to 25,000 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So tell me in the description below what I should give away. Let's get straight into it. So you're wondering how to get a Mirage Island and how to get it fast. Mirage Islands spawn when you are in a boat in the sea. As you can see right here, I've got my Enforcer. It can be any boat. I'm using this one because it's by far the fastest. Mirage Islands have a 1% spawn chance out of the sea events, so they are very rare. Mirage Islands also spawn in front of you or in front of the boat, I should say. So they'll spawn whichever way you're looking. They also require a lot of space to spawn. So I recommend going in between the sea castle, turtle, and the sea of treats, roughly about here, and then just going in circles or something like that. You can either do that in circles or you can just stay still waiting for it but then you might leave the server and get kicked after 20 minutes and you don't want to do that so if you want to stay in the server hold the w key either the a key or the d key as well and then press your slash or go into the chat and now i let go of all the buttons and i'm still going this is how you can afk for c events like the sea beast the rumbling and the ship raids and also Mirage Island. Now, if you do happen to come across other sea events that I just mentioned, like the sea beast, the rumbling, or the boats, the ship raid, then what you are going to want to do is continue going straight, straight away from it, and then let them despawn. Yes, that's right, completely ignore them. If you want to spawn a Mirage Island, then killing everything will make it take much longer so you'll have to go straight through them let them despawn then come right back and continue trying to spawn something mirage islands can spawn anywhere throughout the map but i recommend spawning one in between here so that it's close to the spawn points because you can go all the way out there into the sea and it will just be very hard to get to it if you die or something. Now, if you are wanting to get race version four or the blue gear from the Mirage Island, I've got some tips and tricks for you. So the first tip is before you enter the Mirage Island and everything goes dark, you can just go up into the air. As you can see, I got some rumble dashes and some other transportation moves. I am up in the air right now and then from up in the air you can see where the center of the map is. Then you are going to want to go straight towards that and also stand on it and then zoom in, look at the moon, use your race ability, etc. Now to find the blue gear, it's going to be basically the same. Because everything is foggy in the Mirage Island. What you are going to want to do is again head outside of the fog head all the way up and go around the island until you see a really bright blue thing like a gear in there and that's when you're going to want to make sure you know where that is and then go straight towards it and grab it that's really the easiest way to get the blue gear if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when i make a new video Thanks for watching and see you all next time.